opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick boss's youtube channel and press that bell icon now Season 11 of the Big Bash League is done and dusted and this was a season like none other especially because of the covid threat that kept looming large there were outbreaks in teams personnel had to be changed venues had to be changed rescheduling had to be done the organizers at one point took it on a day to day basis and saw it through perth scorchers became the first team in the history of the tournament to win the title four times stopping what could have been a hat trick of title wins for the sydney sixers who kind of made a habit of meeting perth scorchers in the final now as is natural progression it's time for us to pick the 11 of the season in our opener slot we have picked ben mcdermott and matthew shaw ben mcdermott was phenomenal this season he's also the only hobart hurricanes player to make it to our 11 577 runs and back to back centuries becoming the first ever player in the history of the bbl to do that he is an automatic pick As for Matthew Short, he also had a great season, close to 500 runs. He also is a handy bowler. He picked eight wickets, which means at that strike rate of 155, when a batter bowls and picks that many wickets, he has to be a part of the playing eleven. In at number three is the wicketkeeper of our side, Joshua Felipe. One of the main reasons why Sydney Sixers could chart their journey to the BBL finals this year. Four half centuries were pivotal to their chances, and then his 99 not out against Melbourne Stars at the MCG still remains one of the highlights of the season. Now to the middle order, then that seems chock a block with all rounders. At number four is Mitchell Marsh, who could only manage to play one half of the tournament, but it seems like only one half of the tournament was needed from Mitchell Marsh. He scored a hundred not out against Hobart Hurricanes, and that set him up for the rest of the tournament, where he scored runs at an average of 57 plus. Also add to that a few wickets here and there. Mitchell Marsh is a perfect package at number four. At number five is Glenn Maxwell purely because of those two phenomenal centuries, especially that 154 not out against the Hobart Hurricanes that broke almost every record there was for the breaking in the Big Bash League. Also sending a message to everyone around that you never write off Glenn Maxwell, and he's still a force to reckon with in T20 cricket. Although an area where Maxwell would not be happy with himself. is his bowling numbers he could only manage four wickets something that he would have liked to get more of moses onrique slots himself in at number 6 and also becomes the captain of our side onrique has finished as the leading run scorer for sydney sixers with an average in excess of 35 and a strike rate that was in excess of 130 also as a skipper he pulled his team out of the deep waters at many an occasions which is why he is our captain for this 11 and also slots himself in at number 6. Jason Sanga completes our middle order. Sydney Thunder's highest run scorer this season, Sanga was a force to reckon with for the Thunder's also a bankable player in terms of a stand-in skipper when it was needed. And then with his leg breaks he also managed to pick four wickets, a complete package in season 11. Sanga slots himself in at number 7. Now to the bowlers then Hayden Kerr the pace of from Sydney Sixers makes it to our 11 he picked truckloads of wickets and also contributed with the bat when it was necessary in that challenger versus the adelaide strikers he scored a magnificent 98 that almost came out of the blue and really hit the adelaide strikers like a ball straight from the blue talking of adelaide strikers you have to talk of rashid khan who has to make it to our 11 despite pulling out of the tournament midway you can't pull rashid khan out of a season 11 ever big 20 wickets his economy like standard was under 7 and then his hardly believable figures of 6 wickets for just 17 runs against the brisbane heat rashid khan continues to weave his magic peter siddle too continues to weave magic at 37 years of age he became the highest wicket taker in season 11 of the big bash league sending a message to everyone out there that age is just a number Sending that message alongside him is also Andrew Tai at 35 years of age. He's using all his smarts. He's picking truckloads of wickets, and he became one of the many reasons why Perth Scorchers were such a dominant force in this season of the Big Bash League. So that is how our 11 shapes up for this season. Now, while that 11 looks complete, no 11 really is ever complete without a good set of substitutes, the X factor substitutes, for which we had names aplenty. Sydney Sixers had stars like 
Sean Abbott. Then there was Ashton Agar from the Perth Scorchers. But the two names that we zeroed down on are Joe Clark from the Melbourne Stars and Daniel Sams from Sydney Thunder. Joe Clark was phenomenal with the bat and came so tantalizingly close to making it to a uh, playing 11. As for Daniel Sams, he was very good with the ball and very handy with the bat as well, an all round package there as well. So these are our two X Factor substitutes. That wraps up our coverage for Season 11 of the Big Bash League. I know there are certain inclusions, certain omissions that you may have done differently if you'd picked your 11. For which I want you to pick your 11. Pick your 11 for Season 11 of the Big Bash League. Send them over. We're across all social media platforms and we'll be waiting to hear from all of you.